cold weather, inspiration, thrift and look for less. I wonder if I should just call this video Keeping Up With The Cardigans. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> I'm Shannon and this is The Thrifty Fashionista. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another November fall edition of the Thrifted Look For Less Challenge. And I am so excited to be a part of the challenge again. This challenge is all about finding inspiration from Pinterest or a movie or a magazine or the runway or even the mannequins in your local mall. And then taking that inspiration, going to your local thrift stores or online, wherever you like to be, and finding your inspiration for a whole lot less than the original cost. Our hostess, as always, is the beautiful Barbara Jean from Age is Just a Number with Barbara Jean. If you are 40, 50, 60, 70, if you are a woman who likes to put on clothes, <laughs> you are going to enjoy her channel and find a lot of inspiration there. She is just fantastic. And our co-hostess for this time through is Stacy from Stacy Lee Beauty. And she is just a beautiful, beautiful young woman. Anything fashion, makeup, skincare, you're going to find it there. She tries it and, and lets you know what the best of the best is. And she has a good time doing it. And she always shares really neat little bits of information that you might not think about when it comes to the fashion and the beauty. But this challenge, as I said, is all about finding something that would normally cost a whole lot in the stores and you want to find it for less. And it has to be something that you're going to wear, not just something that you're buying for the challenge. Because if you're not going to wear it, it's not a bargain, right? It, it, it's only a sale if you're actually going to wear it. So I happened to be in the thrift store. I, I, I did this totally backwards, totally by accident, because I was at my local value village and I was shopping for um, short sleeve shirts. I was shopping for cardigans. I was shopping for things that would transition me from late summer into early fall, maybe still work for fall, maybe even work for winter, just layered underneath. Because when it comes to weather up here in Ontario, we need to layer. Even today, there is ice on the pond <laughs> out in our driveway. We've got a little puddle area out there. So we need to be ready to dress in all sorts of layers so that if it gets warmer or it gets cooler, we are set to go. And something that I love, and if you've been here before, then you will know that I love cardigans. Cardigans are fantastic layering pieces. They can go over, they can go under, and sometimes you can just wear them on their own. Cardigans are fantastic. I just, did I say that already? Cardigans are fantastic? Yeah, <laughs> I did. Yeah. So I was at my local Bayou Village and I found yet another cardigan. And I love the colors in this. I love the, I guess, almost a denim blue and sand and beige and white and just I just really like it I also like that it's it's um I got a, it's a bit of a lighter knit has a very nice pad in it that's not too thick but will keep the the breeze going through it it's more of a summer weight it is definitely more of a summer weight and obviously because it has short sleeves but I like it and I got it it's by Penman's. It's not an expensive company, but it's a decently made company. And I knew that when I got it, I was going to get some good wear out of it. What I didn't know was that this same pattern of sweater happened to be on a mannequin at my local mall. I didn't know this until literally the next day when I was walking through the mall and I saw this cardigan in our local Northern Reflection store. There it is. And it's a very casual look that's being shown here. And I don't mind it at all. I Now this sweater 
It's more of a pullover. It's got just a couple of buttons on it. But the pattern, ladies, <laughs> the pattern, <laughs> all right? So they've got it pulled on over a Henley, a nice um, tonal Henley, the same coloring in the stripes. And they have it on with a pair of wide leg frayed at the bottom jeans, and they have a brown belt on it. I like this look. I, I really do. What I don't like, I have to admit, are, are the jeans. I'm sorry, the pockets, the placement of the pockets make the jeans look like they've been put on backwards. They're very strange. I don't know. But I do know <laughs> that I like the overall comfort of this outfit. It just looks like something that I would be comfortable wearing. So I went home to my closet and I went to put this outfit together. Now, ladies, this is a challenge, so I'm going to ask you, please. I want you to see what you think of my outfit compared to the original Northern Reflections outfit. I'm also going to show you a few other ways that you can style this cardigan that I found and that you can style your own cardigans. Like, this is to be inspiration for you as well so that you don't go into your closet and try like i've got nothing to wear it, it happens it happens so much but the neat thing about this one well i'll get into it i'll get into it <laughs> so here is the northern reflections outfit and here is my spin on the inspiration <laughs> as i say this is me. This is comfy. This is easy. This is relaxed and laid back. A day off from work, I can wear this without any difficulty. And as I also said, this is great for layering. I happen to have with me this day a brown moto jacket, so it still has those same tones. And you will notice I put on brown boots with this. Our original picture, the mannequin is not wearing boots. <laughs> the mannequin is not even wearing jewelry, which in my mind, uh, I don't know. You gotta have something sparkly on. I've, I'm used to wearing jewelry, so there you go. Now, what I was going to say to you is that the neat thing about having the different tones in this cardigan, the stripes, it's not really limiting. In fact, if you look for something else in your closet for another color, right? I have a blue version of this turtleneck that I think looks very nice with this outfit. Or the moto jacket over top again. <laughs> This cardigan is also going to do me better than the one if I bought it at the store because, as I say, the one at the store has the long sleeves and it would be much too heavy for me to wear in the summer months. But mine has short sleeves, so I can wear it on its own. I could wear it over a blouse. In fact, I could even take inspiration from the jeans and wear it backwards. <laughs> I don't know. The jury's out. What do you think? <laughs> so the only way that I could possibly win this challenge of my own self is number one, I need to be able to style it to look like my inspiration. Not be maybe necessarily exact because I'm not buying the pieces, obviously, but to be fairly close so that if you looked at what I was wearing, you would say, hey, didn't I see that on a mannequin somewhere? The other thing that would make certain that I won was that I spent a whole lot less for my outfit. Now, everything except for the cardigan came from my closet from before. So I'm not going to count the cost on any of those things. But if I wanted to buy everything that was there in my inspiration model, the cost would be, okay, are you, are you ready for this? This is Northern Reflections. Um, the ladies in Canada will know what I'm talking about. My American friends may know as well. It's not an overly expensive store. It is a good quality store. You pay for the quality, but it's not going to be runway, so it's not tremendously. But still, let, let me just share these prices with you, okay? For the belt itself, $29.99. The Henley top, $39.99. 
the jeans are $74.99. And the pullover that my cardigan was emulating was $64.99. The total cost, if I rounded it up by about four cents, came out to $210. Now, my nifty sweater that I got when I went to Value Village was only $6.99. It was $7. So I saved $203 to be able to make my outfit. <laughs> So what do you think, ladies? How did I do? Can you rate me, please, between a 1 and a 10? A number 1 means my outfit left you out in the cold, no inspiration, I never should have even tried. A number 10 means we are going to be comfy, cozy, all season long. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for joining me for this thrifted look for less challenge. I hope you have found inspiration in it. Please let me remind you that you should go over and see Barbara Jean and see Stacy from Stacy Lee Beauty. And actually there is a playlist of a whole bunch of lovely, lovely ladies who took part in this challenge. You will find that down in the description box below. When you get over there, be certain to tell them that Shannon said hi. <laughs> Again, I hope you have enjoyed this with me. I hope it's put a smile on your face because after all, no matter the season and no matter your style, you're never fully dressed without a smile. <laughs> I'll see you soon.